Hey guys, Lucas here and welcome back on KNews.Space. Oof, long time no see. That was a much longer break than I planned. I hope all of you are fine and still interested into space, because this one is big and also a bit speculative to be honest. So take this as usual with a grain of salt please. So why shouldn't Starship land on the moon? Why guys? Oh wait, I was here to answer it, dummy me. Let me first clarify one thing though. By Starship, I mean the Starship we all know and love with its flappy wings and the engine cluster at the bottom. This one should not land on the moon as is. It needs some kind of lunar upgrades. The main challenge on the moon is not quite obvious and the reason for that is the lack of an atmosphere. That's the reason Starship as is should not even attempt to land there. It's just too dangerous. Now let's explore this a bit deeper and find out why that the reason is. A rocket like Starship mixes two components it stores in tanks to generate thrust. This component mix is very flammable so igniting it leads to a very rapid gas expansion. We all know this from lighting any gas on earth. The flame is bigger than the gas cloud beforehand. With nowhere to go inside the rocket engine it of course shoots out the nozzle into space. Important to keep in mind, no mass is lost in the process. This is not some kind of nuclear reaction that would turn mass into energy. This is just a good old chemical reaction. No nuclei are harmed in the process. You can think of it like snapping atoms together which gives them a speed boost. This added speed of each particle combined is what creates the pressure. A tank like that of Starship can carry round about 1000 metric tons of propellant and with a burn time of just a couple minutes it ends up shooting hundreds of kilograms into space per second at speeds of almost 4 kilometers a second. The exhaust would run a marathon in just 10 seconds. That's the time I need to realize the race has even started. Now imagine you'd fire a 100 kilogram heavy projectile at that speed into anything. There would be nothing left but a giant crater. Now compare that to Starship landing on the moon. It would melt the cheese and sink. That was a joke. They used to say the moon is made of cheese because of all the craters. A very dusty ball of cheese. In fact, Starship would blow all the dust into space. And that's the kicker ladies and gentlemen. Holding a flame so close to the surface could propel moon dust and tiny rocks to orbital speeds. Remember, the exhaust gas shoots out at 4 km a second. It only takes 1 km a second to reach moon orbit and 2 km a second to achieve escape velocity. This shoops would not only bombard the lunar surface, but also wipe out anything in earth orbit. GPS, satellite television, weather satellites and of course Starlink would be in great danger. The risk to ruin their own business is way too high so to be better safe than sorry SpaceX has to come up with something new. Of course they have great engineers so I believe they already did come up with a solution. If you check their latest images carefully you can see these weird beams of light coming off Starship. I believe these are landing thrusters and they are used to avoid exactly that. Being further away from the surface the gas has already expanded far beyond whatever density would be needed to push some rocks. It will still cause some stir but nothing too extreme I suspect. Another thing to keep in mind are of course moon bases at some point. Landing starship you really don't want to puncture scientist bodies and their huts with artificial micrometeorites. Maybe in the long run they will come up with better solutions like landing on a stand of some sort or my favorite solution, a sled. Instead of cancelling all of Starship's energy with thrusters, they would simply fly by the surface really fast and land on a sled which would slow it down. Doing so it would produce energy that it could later use to speed it up again. I will actually make a separate video on that so feel free to subscribe if you haven't yet. So what do you guys think about the artificial meteor shower? Is this some kind of corona delirium or am I onto something? Or has Elon already talked about it and I didn't even notice? Let me know in the comments. As always, auf Wiedersehen and thank you for watching.